bit of a rainy start to our, what is today? Wednesday? Wednesday. <laughs> It's been a little long, yeah? Oh, yeah. if you missed the beginning of the show, I accidentally got a little ahead of myself. I'm, I mean... I I'm, was there, too. I was willing to just go with it. I think if we all agree that it's Friday... <laughs> oh, oh, at least it's going to be warmer as we wrap at up least the it work is warmer, weekday. Yeah. I think that is something we're all going to be excited about. The time is 6.22 as you are beginning your Wednesday. Wednesday. We are waking up to cloudy skies this morning on our KQ2 tower camera overlooking St. Joseph. We had some light rain showers that passed through a few hours ago. Right now we are sitting at 51 degrees in St. Joseph with a calm wind. And this morning we have been dealing with the light rain showers over our KQ2 high resolution max satellite and radar along with the low stratus cloud cover. Most of the rain now is confined to our northern counties from Hull County into Nottaway into Harrison County. So if you're driving along 136 this morning, be aware that you're dealing with some light rain. So give yourself plenty of extra travel time this morning. Roads are wet across the KQ2 viewing area for the most part. Now we have a disturbance that's going to be pushing through over the next several hours. That is going to keep the rain chances around, but I am expecting heading into Thursday and into Friday we'll see more sunshine and temperatures as well will be warming up. As you're heading out the door this morning, we're waking up to 45 right now into Rockport, 49 in Hiawatha, 48 in Maryville, 50 degrees right now in Maysville and in Cameron. So parents, as you are scrambling to get the kids ready this morning, getting the breakfast and the coffee going, as your kids are heading out to the bus stop or to school, make sure they have the umbrella with them this morning, but they will not need it heading into the afternoon. Unfortunately, the clouds will linger around around for most of the day today so I think it's going to keep the sunshine from peeking through and allowing us to get up to the 70s. I'm going for a high of 69 degrees today which is near average of our average high of 68 but I am expecting the 70s to make a comeback as we go into the second half of the work week. So here's your KQ2 hour by hour forecast as we go throughout the morning into the lunchtime hour I am expecting the rain to move out. We'll have them some cloudy skies heading into the lunchtime hour. Most of the clouds will be breaking up by the time you wrap up your work and school day. We'll see a few clouds heading into the overnight hours and then into your Thursday morning, we could see some patchy fog developing and then we'll be dry for Thursday and Friday before the rain chances move back in by the weekend. 69 for your high today with the rain early and then cloudy skies heading into the afternoon. And in your KQ2 5 to 7 day forecast, We'll be in an active weather pattern with those rain chances Saturday morning into Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Day temperatures will cool down a bit into the 60s, but I don't foresee us going past 60 anytime soon. Well, well, all right then. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> at least it's not 50s and 40s. Very good point. Always looking at the brighter side. Thanks, Vanessa. Harry Potter.